This is the art of war. America doesn't know the people that we send to war, and so I felt that we really needed to know who we're sending to war. A new exhibit at the National Veterans Art Museum in Chicago offers a window into the lives of U.S. veterans who fought in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and the refugees who fled them. The series of displays, called Artifacts, features photos from the Shrapnel Project by a wounded soldier whose life was transformed by shards of metal, a coffin-shaped quilt made out of uniforms, Photographer Jim Lomason's pictures of the precious keepsakes Iraqi refugees brought from their old lives as they began new ones, and his montage of photos from the U.S. troops who brought the fighting they fled. The 2,000 pictures that are in this gallery, you know, vary from everything from things that happened in the barracks to carnage to sunsets to things that look like fraternity parties. And so I felt like this, the cloud of these photographs that came from the soldiers are kind of a cinematic snapshot of part of their experience. This place began as the National Vietnam Veterans Art Museum, but the name changed along with the locations of American wars. This exhibit focuses on combat since 2001. Some veterans call it the perpetual war. If there's one unifying theme, it is the cost of conflict. I had all kinds of Aaron Hughes is the museum's curator and an Iraq war veteran. We have a, a, a lot of reflecting to do. And this place is about reflecting. You know, I got to a point where I felt I kind of lost faith in a lot of things that I originally believed in. But I, you know, realized I still believe in art. Art can get to that human essence, and that's what we're trying to do, is what is the, what is the impact on human beings from our continuous wars, both the veteran population and the civilian population. For artists and visitors, like this Marine who spent two tours in Iraq and quit rather than serve a third, the displays can offer catharsis after the trauma of war. You want to tell yourself it was worth it, it was worth the people I killed, it was worth my friends being killed, but at the end of the day I think a lot of veterans know that's not the case. So how do you take something that's extremely negative and turn it into something that's positive? I think art is one of the best ways to do that. From photo montages to bullet shards, Artifacts leads visitors through a maze of troubled memories, from conflict to contemplation. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.